Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be uh, talking about offsets and uh, basically a common problem that we all uh, will potentially run into now so you guys so new. Uh, and the problem is uh, basically um, whenever you have a text field on your iOS app or iPhone uh, and uh, basically uh, you want to uh, you want to uh, give an opportunity to your user to basically type some text into a text field. Now, when user starts to type, and if that text field goes behind your key keyboard, how would you move that up? So that uh, is the challenge uh, that we're going to be uh, tackling using something called offsets. Now, offsets are basically modifiers that uh, you can use uh, to position your view within your screen. So you can move them uh, from their uh, from their positioning, uh, like you know, in different directions, up, down, like you know, on the side and stuff like that. So. Um, one thing important to note that like the actual frame of the view will remain in place. It's just the visible part of the view that moves when you set the offset. Okay, so let's take a look at an example first of offset and then we're gonna work on solving the actual problem of moving keyboard up when keyboard software keyboard opens up within your um, within your view. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do something here. So what I'm going to do, I've defined a variable for circle frame. So I'm going to actually design this uh, uh, sort of an Olympic uh, circle uh, view. So Z stack. Um, I'm going to take a Z stack and we're going to create some circles. And uh, the circle is going to have a foreground color of uh, white. Okay. And this is going to be our uh, like sort of our base circle. So. Width is going to be 200. Height is going to be 200 as well. And there's going to be a shadow of radius 10. Okay, so this is what our view is going to look like. And inside this, uh, we can actually create our uh, circle. So um, I'm going to have uh, basically another circle here. And uh, we're just going to stroke this circle out. So we're just going to say stroke. And we're going to give it a color dot blue, okay, with line width as four. And then we're going to give it a frame. Width of circle frame. And, uh, height of circle frame, like that. Okay, so we have this uh, circle uh, created. Now uh, you can actually set an offset to this. So offset, negative 35, zero, okay? So moving this circle towards the left side. So that's how you can actually move your view. Now, if you notice, when we select this, the frame of the view is showing up here, but the offset is actually showing, uh, the view, actual view is showing uh, negative uh, 55 on the X axis right here, right? So that's how your uh, circle uh, is gonna basically move. Uh, similarly, uh, you're gonna see um, basically um, if you take so this is this is what we were talking about when we actually last talked about uh, that. Hey, uh, your circle does not move, uh, your frame does not move, but your view, the rendered view, actually moves. So let me create a black ring right here, and uh, with that same frame, and let me copy paste another one, and uh, this one is uh, going to be red, and uh, we are going to move this 55 so on the other side, uh, in the positive x direction, and uh, then uh, let's go ahead and create a yellow. And uh, this one is going to be negative 30 points. And Y, we're going to change to basically have 25 points like that. And uh, I'm going to copy this one because uh, a lot of properties are going to be the same. So green. And uh, 
This one is going to be 30, 25. There we go. All right. So uh, we created these Olympic rings. Uh, but I just wanted to show you, like, you know, with this example, that how if you select each of these circles, you're going to notice that their frame is located at the center uh, for, for, for all of them except the first one. Okay. But only the offset is moving your actual view, the, the rendered view, uh, into a different location, into your desired location. But this is how you can actually uh, create, uh, like, you know, different UIs and move your UI uh, to different location uh, as per your need. Okay. With that, let's go ahead and, and see how we can actually uh, solve this problem of moving keyboard up and down. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to keep this uh, and uh, put it in VStack. Okay, and uh, then we're going to have a spacer, and uh, we are going to have a text field right here, and we're going to say type your message here, kind of like that. Okay, and uh, this is going to need a bindable property, so we're going to say at state private var message text and we're going to provide empty string for now so we can say text is on to message text like so okay and uh, now we can actually uh, give this uh, text field some style as well so text field style rounded rectangle text field style like that and uh, let's give it uh, some padding as well so we gotta say padding so in the horizontal direction we're gonna give some padding all right and uh, now um, we're gonna basically do that offset thing that we were just talking about so what we can do first is uh, we can create another state variable keyboard height and we're going to say it's going to be a CG float value okay and uh, we're going to apply that offset uh, basically uh, to this v stack but before we actually do this uh, apply this uh, uh, offset uh, we can actually uh, append an observer so we're going to say on appear and we want to listen to that and on on appear, we want to actually provide add a notification. So we're going to say notification center dot default dot add observer, and we're going to use this overload. And what we want is UI responder dot keyboard will show notification. Okay, object can be nil, Q can be the main Q, and uh, your notification object. It's going to be received okay so now what we can do uh, with this is uh, we can first say guard let keyboard frame notification dot user info and uh, we, we want to get ui responder dot keyboard frame and user info key so uh, as when keyboard appeared, after that, we want to actually get the frame of that keyboard. Uh, and basically, we can cast it as CG rec. If it can't be casted, then we're going to return that from here. Okay. And uh, we're going to say self.keyboard height is equal to keyboard frame dot height. We're going to get the height from there. Okay. So that's going to change uh, from here. Now, we want to also observe the um, keyboard will hide notification, right? Will show notification and will hide notification. Now, this one is simple. We don't have to check for anything. We simply have to set the height to be zero, okay? Now, with that, we're going to get our uh, height for the keyboard that's going to uh, appear when it's actually appeared. So, we're going to simply say dot offset and 
we only care about y value, so we're going to simply say self dot keyboard height and negate that. So we're going to actually offset negative to that height. Okay, and we can animate this too. So animation dot spring, kind of like that. Okay. With that, our view is actually ready uh, to use. So I'm gonna actually run this in uh, simulator to show you how it actually looks like when the keyboard opens up. Um, and we can actually see it up and running. So this is our view. And as we actually uh, uh, type, as you can see, our keyboard is moving up. Our view, is, our entire view is actually moving up. Now, you can employ the same technique that uh, you were employing in uh, storyboard when if you want to let user basically scroll up and down when the keyboard is open for example you can actually what you can do is you can put your view inside a list and then show it of like you know in the list or a scroll view I mean list is a scroll view so you can put it either in the scroll view or in the list view and then let user interact with it so they can do like you know they can scroll up and down but uh this is where like you know how you can uh append uh your uh, you can make the make it possible for your for your text field to move up and down as you're uh, opening your keyboard and closing your keyboard software keyboard within your iphone app okay so hope uh, this video was uh helpful uh like you know uh, solving those like you know issues i ran into this issue so i thought like you know i'll create a quick video about it and uh, it also covers one of the topic of offsets uh, for us so great opportunity all right so thanks again for watching and i will see you guys in next video thank you